Well, we did, but unfortunately they just ran away. But we with Ribbon and her little ones. And there they come. Hello, little ones. So aren't they cute? Look how big they've gotten. They're even getting little spots on their back now. So big already. So look at that. And very curious. They coming up to us and looking around. Look at that one, how spotty he is already. I haven't seen them in about a week and they've grown so much since the week that I've seen them. And you can see Ruben is completely passed out. She's had a hot day. So it's time for rest before getting active this afternoon. But the little ones are very curious. Look at how they keep looking and sniffing. Now, the one on the left that's a little bit darker is more curious than the other one. So there you can see it's coming and sniffing around. Look at them. Are they not cute? Isn't this amazing? So, unfortunately, I left Shongile because she went back south into Little Gauri. So, she crossed back into Little Gauri. She didn't stay outside. But isn't this a second best? So, while it's amazing to spend time with the leopards, these little guys are so cute. Hello, little one. Now, that little one is right near us. So, you can see how close they are. They're just over my shoulder here. And they are being very, very curious. They want to come and see. So, I'm trying not to move too much because I don't want to disturb them and to get them scared of us in any way. And look at that. See how it's watching? Now something just made a noise behind them and that's why Ribbon has stood up all of a sudden to see what's going on. I wonder if it's maybe not some Ellie's that have come through the bush. There were lots of Ellie's in this area the whole day today. So maybe that's why Ribbon got a bit of a fright. And she's stretching and I think that's going to be her ticket to leave. Now that she's up, if she was still sleeping and lying down then I think she would have stayed. But now that she's heard a disturbance, I think she might go and investigate. And when they start to stretch like that, then it's generally a sign that they might get moving. But let's see what she does. Hello, little ones. Well, the games are still going on, so lots of biting happening when you're this age. They tend to bite one another. Oh, there we go. That's good news for us. So ribbons lay back down, which is great news because if she's lying down, then it means that the little ones will come back to where she's lying down so that we can see her and see the little ones a little bit longer. It is getting to that time of the day where it's starting to get a bit dark, so we're definitely not going to use any lights on them. So, Kaitek, you're wondering if these little ones would be on meat yet, if they were eating meat. Well, they'll be chewing on little bits of it, so there's no carcasses being brought back just yet, but I did see the other day that they had a little bit of a bone, so maybe there was something small that Ribbon brought back, but mostly what they're going to be feeding on at this age is milk. It takes them about sort of six to eight months to wean themselves completely, and then they're on to solids and meat, and she'll bring bits of carcasses back, so she'll bring a leg of something, or if she can, a whole impala. I've seen them carrying impalas all the way back to the den, and then the little ones feed off it, but the moment still predominantly milk more than anything else and it's amazing how alert she is she knows at this time of the day that it's the time when things start to move around and so the wind is rustling and she's getting very nervous now it looks like she's got a bit of a black eye there she's turned her head the wrong way but underneath her left eye is a black mark and i can't see what it is exactly it's very dark at the moment so what we'll probably do is put our little ir lights on just now but you can see she's watching and the little ones are right here they've come closer again there we go, that's much better. Now we can see them without having to worry about lights. And this is the advantage of having this is the advantage of having the IR system and having this infrared light is that we can spend time with these little guys even in these conditions. So when we've got these sort of places where we've got little babies and we don't want to affect them and we don't want to shine lights on them, that we can go into this infrared mode and not disturb the little ones in any way and not worry about affecting their eyes. Natural, you're asking if these cubs make whooping sounds yet. Well, they will if Ribbon calls. So if Ribbon calls, you'll find these little ones will try and imitate and try and mimic. And I've heard little ones doing it and it is the cutest thing. They don't quite get it right like the adults do and it's not nearly as loud. But they make these short little whooping calls and it is so cute to watch them do it. They look like little wolf puppies trying to howl at the moon and they really just don't get out nearly as loud as what, let's say, Ribbon would. But it is very, very cute. Much like it is when they bite the little trees. Isn't that a sweet little face? Hello, little one. I absolutely love spending time with these 
little ones. They've become so bold in the last few weeks. And it's just so nice to have these hyenas back and to have a den with little babies. It really just can change up one's afternoon. And we've been spoiled this afternoon. I was saying to Craig that, you know, we've seen so many different species. We've had kudus and zebras and impalas and elephants. And then we got chongile and now... And now a little hyena cub set as well. And like I was saying with Shongila earlier, that she did cross out. I did mention it earlier, but she has crossed south into Little Gari, for those of you who missed it. So unfortunately, we couldn't stay with her any further. She went back into Little Gari, but maybe that's where Hosane is. I haven't seen any signs of him this side. So I'd imagine that's where he is, and that's why she went there and why I didn't stay with her. I would have loved to have spent more time with her, but this is a close second. So, see the point? You're wondering when these little hooligans that are biting away on the stick are going to be joining the rest of the clan. Well, it's still a while. They'll only be really moving with the clan at about a year old. And that's given if they are actually females, then they'll really kind of join in with the clan movements. But if they're a male, then generally they move around on their own. They don't spend too much time with the clan. They're very low ranking then, and they kind of get shunned quite a bit. So the males tend to be on the fringes. And only if there's a large carcass will you find the males joining in but otherwise they tend to move around quite a lot on their own so between sort of eight months and years when they're going to start venturing out for the first time and well after years when they then completely on their own and moving but that poor stick is getting absolute abuse from these two little ones i reckon if they keep going at, at it like this in a week's time there's going to be no more tree that's there that's a little black monkey orange that's being bitten to pieces and aren't they sweet? And like I say, it's amazing that we can actually spend time with them like this. We have no lights on whatsoever. It's so dark now. But we don't have to worry because we're not attracting any attention. The lights are off. So nothing's going to see the lights and come and investigate. The little ones are not being affected by lights on their eyes. And that's why we're able to spend a bit of time with them. Now, I'm not going to stay until it gets pitch black. Because obviously pitch black, then the starting of the vehicle could potentially attract something. But look at this. So you can see in the bottom of the frame, isn't that amazing? Look at that. Look how close it is. And she's just smelling us. Hello, little one. Still not too sure of what's going on. And back to mom. And I think Ribbon's going to get up and go. And so with her son of stretching and moving around, I think that's our cue also to probably leave these little ones and let them go into the den and not attract too much attention at night. Ultimately, we don't want to disturb this den that she moves them. It's been such a treat having them. So I think let's carry on and see what else we can find. And while we do that, let's go across to Byron, who's got his spotlight out and is busy looking around. And you can actually see Ribbon is taking them to the den as we speak. So let's see what Byron's got under his spotlight as he moves around the evening.